Hey, Mutt. Good job, Mutt. Oh, oh, oh. No, Harper, you can't. <laughs> Here we go, guys. She says, I'm Tyler. Happy eight months. Tyler. You guys did it. <laughs> it's just like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey. Hey, Adeline. Adeline. Say, hi. <coughs> Say look how old I am. Are you eight months old now? I'm a big girl. Are you eight months old? So, oh, this yeah. looks good to eat. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Adeline. Hey. Can you tell us how old you are? Are you eight oh. months old? <laughs> Got some spit up. <laughs> Eliana. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> that's so good, isn't it? Is it yummy? <laughs> Are you eight months old? Are you eight months old? Yes, I am. Yes. Okay. Hey, honey. Oh, goodness. Hey. Can you see what it says? Yeah. Eight. Eight months old. Hey, honey. Hey. Eight months old. Hey, Linnea. Sweetheart. Nope. Nope. You want Fisher. Say bye. Fisher. Fisher. Hey, buddy. No, we're not showing up. everybody our belly. Hey, 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 Fisher. Oh. Hey, Fisher. What are you doing? Harper. Oh, what is this? Harper. Hi. I want that. Look at that. I want that. <laughs> oh, the babies are eight months old eight now. Eight months old. Only four months till our year, which is crazy. Pretty wild. Eight months has flown by. Mm -hmm. Every day goes very quickly. Yeah. How are the babies doing though? They're doing it great. And they're move moving and grooving. They're very happy babies. Yeah, they are. Yeah. How are we doing? I'm doing good. The sun is starting to come out more. Just fun. Yeah. Nice. You know, well, I guess I go on walks. I was gonna say, sometimes I just look at it through the window, but even that like changes. Loving the warmer weather and loving being parents. The lack of videos is not a representation of not enjoying this uh -uh. whatsoever. No. Yeah, just been it, busy. I was gonna say, it's busy, but it's like, it's a good busy. Every day goes extremely fast. I was literally thinking about this phrase earlier of how like people always say like the days are was it the days are long, but the years are short? Mm. And I'm like, no, I feel like the days are short. I yes. feel like they go by really, really fast. And I'm like, oh my gosh, another day. Yeah. Already flew by. I feel like every night I go to bed, like, I can't believe that day is already over. Mm. And then a week goes by and then a month goes by. <laughs> and then eight months goes by. Yeah. So, no, we're loving it. Yeah. We're doing well. Babies are doing great. So we thought it'd be fun to kind of go through each baby and talk about how each one is doing. And kind of some different changes and things that they're yeah, starting to do, which is a so lot we'll more things. We'll start with the firstborn. <clears throat> Adeline. Mm -hmm. She's gotten a lot more feisty, I would say. <laughs> She's gotten so fun, though. Like, yeah. just like her like true personality coming out. Mm -hmm. Oh, so much fun. But she's roll. I don't even know what the last... She's rolling, and you can tell that after she rolls, she's like, okay, like, how do I get over there? Yeah. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty funny. She's kind of our, I don't know if strongest is the right word, but our most like- Like physically strong? Yeah. Yeah. She's kind We've of our tight core. tightest, and yeah. she always gets herself in like a hollow hold. Yeah, on her back. If her you just like leave her on the back, she kind of like lifts up her head and gets real tight. And she, she does this thing at night. I'm gonna see if we can get on video. We call it Crazy Addy because she just goes wild. She starts making all this noise. Scrunches her nose. Scrunches her nose and gets really it's excited. It's like, 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 oh, I'm ready. <laughs> and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's so cute. It's so funny. It's so fun. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! Next baby, <laughs> it's Eliana. Eliana, and she is still our silliest baby. Mm -hmm. I would say you can always get a smile out of her. 
Unless she's just like on the verge of falling asleep. Oh. But for the most part, even then, she will do like a slight little kind of look at you. Yeah. You just got to look at her and kind of go, and she gives you a smile. You can just look at her and smile and she yeah. back. It's so <laughs> cute. She's funny. If you're having a bad day, just look at Eliana and her smile will lift you up for yeah. sure. So She's also really good. At sit oh, I forgot to mention about Alan. She's, she does a really good job sitting up. Mm -hmm. They're not, none of them are sitting up quite by themselves yet, but they're very close. Mm. Um, but Eliana's doing also sits up really, really well. Yeah. So. Eliana has started to go. Not, 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 not. And she does it without <laughs> making noise. Too. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> and that's really fun too. That's pretty cute. She started doing it while she was drinking a bottle today. And I was like, okay, apparently you're finished. Because <laughs> she just going <laughs> while she was drinking it. I would say while like Adeline's silliness, silliness has like turned up a lot. Yeah. Eliana's is almost settled down. Yeah, a little bit. Just a tad, but she's still super sweet. But you can still get her to like, she can giggle. Yeah. She can, you can really get her to giggle. Oh yes, she's our easiest giggle box, I'd say. Giggle box. Well, I was, was going to say her hair is coming in. <laughs> uh, she's not fully bald anymore. Even yeah. my mom says she's not bald anymore. She yeah. just says she doesn't have her much hair. Yeah. But it's coming in. It's yeah. It actually like spiked up yeah. yesterday. So that means she's got some hair. <laughs> she's a cutie. She's sweet. Okay. What's the name of her third child? <laughs> <laughs> no. Linnea. She's also gotten kind of sillier, I would say. Mm -hmm. She does this like gurgling thing. Mm. I don't really know how to describe it. it. Like, sounds like she's trying to make like a bird noise almost. Yeah, yeah. she can. It's all like I don't really don't. It's like she's like gurgling in her throat, mm -hmm. but it's like high pitch almost. It's it's really funny. She's so talented. She's so talented. <laughs> she will be able to roll her, roll her R's for sure. Yeah, for sure. But she does that a lot when. It's, she'll like whine if she's tired and then she does that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why. She's like sad and then she's like smiling and doing that gurgling sound. It's mm -hmm. so funny. But um, yeah. What else? She's really close to rolling. She has pretty good sitting up. She's our most petite still. Yeah. She's, she's very small. Um, but she eats just as much as everyone else, which yeah. is the craziest part. Yeah. And um, she... Adeline and her are both very stiff babies. Like, mm -hmm. if if you hold Linnea, her whole body just gets really stiff. She gets excited. She kind of like opens up her eyes she a little bit like, more. Almost like lifts her chest up and like puts her arms back. Yeah. To so hold herself up. Super cute, smiley baby. She's still probably our quietest one. Her and Fisher. Yeah. I would, yeah, say. I would say so. Although well, we're about to get to him. But once she like, if she's in the mood to be silly and giggle. Yeah. She she gets loud. Yeah, it's a lot it's of fun. Cute. But you oh. have to work for it a little bit more. <laughs> now our boy. Yeah. Fisher. So I was gonna say you were you were saying Linnea and him are probably the quietest, but the last couple of days he's like just nonstop trying to talk. Like <laughs> he's learned how to it's not quite a cough. It's like a pretend cough. It's almost like a pretend ah, ah. And I'll just sit in the room and go, ah, <laughs> ah. I'm terrible at making baby noises, yeah. apparently, but it is. It's pretty funny. It's, it's hilarious. Funny. And um, and it's funny because you can tell he's like talking because he'll like try and do it to one of the babies or one of the other babies and like try and talk to them and try and get a response. And oh, no, it's so funny. Yeah. He's doing great. Right he's doing the learning how to do that. Yeah, Lene has been doing that a lot. He's too. very good at keep head control. Like mm -hmm. when he's on the ground, lifts up his head straight mm -hmm. up and looks around. He and he just rolled. Yeah, he's learning to roll. He just learned to do that. Need a little bit more momentum to do it <laughs> because he is our biggest yeah, baby. He's a big boy. He's almost. I think he is 16 pounds now. Probably. So he's yeah, he's probably over 16 pounds. And it's really interesting to see him sit next to Linnea specifically 
He's so much bigger than her. Be, yeah. Well, one, he's so much bigger, but they look very similar. Yes. And so he just looks like a expanded, expanded version, version of, of Linnea. Linnea. Yeah. An expanded boy version of Linnea. Yes. Yeah. 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 With brown eyes. With brown eyes. Um, <laughs> but he's so handsome. I know he's Gosh. like our child and so we're a little bit biased, but like you look at him and he just looks like a really cute baby boy. He, like so handsome. Yeah. Like beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say, I mean, you know, we're biased, but we've heard that people say the same yeah, thing. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to think, personality wise with him, he he's, does get he's silly. Out, he's starting to come out of a shell a little more. But he is still, him and Lene are probably the most reserved ones. Mm -hmm. But I think he is the most, I want to be with someone. Mm -hmm. He loves you, he wants to be with you. And then if you show him a little bit of attention and then go away, he legitimately <laughs> so sad. gets sad and starts whining. So. You gotta be with him. Yep. You gotta be present. For an extended period of time. And he, like, you can, I think another really cool thing is you can tell that he really loves his sisters. Mm -hmm. I think, like, he, when he's laying next to one of them, he'll start grabbing them, wants to kind of be close to them. He's always, like, looking. <clears throat> he's always looking at them. He's a scanner. He's on his, especially if he's on his belly. If he's on his belly and he can, like, actually, like, turn his head and stuff, he'll, yeah. he'll like, look at him. Him and Adeline do that yeah. a lot. Adeline loves looking at everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. He, his laughs are more of like the like huh. softer like huh, huh. Huh. that's his laugh. That's, yeah, it's, you can kind of give him the giggle if you tickle him right here, mm -hmm. like about like at the bottom of his neck, he'll, he'll kind of scrunch up and tip and laugh. Yeah. That's, that's pretty cute. <laughs> 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 Last but not least, Harper. Harper. <laughs> <laughs> she is has been so fun. Yeah, and I think it's because she's learning how to move mm -hmm. more than anybody else. Like she gets up in a crawl position, is like really trying to move. She scoots around. You waking up? She can roll everywhere. Um, Harper. recently got a playpen, it's mainly because of her. Containment, confinement. <laughs> I'm learning to not call it a cage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I call it the baby corral. Yeah. And um, you know, basically got it for her because she just kept rolling hey. and running into all these things, and we don't want her. What are you doing? Her to do that. She still will lift up her doing? head and just smack it into the ground, which isn't good. <laughs> that has nothing to do with rolling, though. That has nothing. She can still do that. Yeah. No <laughs> cage would, can help the head. But smashing. she would roll into the swings. In the bases of the swings and she yeah. in there, so or the sling. Anyways, she's in a good spot now. I think she is close to Fisher in terms of wanting to snuggle, though. She, she I think she's she's more of a snuggler than he is. I think. Despite how like rambunctious she is and like mm -hmm. wants to go explore, when you do hold her, she kind of just like she's just tired. Curls up. It, like the difference between her and Adeline in terms of body sniff stiffness is very interesting. Yes. Whereas like Adeline is. Very stiff and tight stiff, all the time. Stiff, strong, and Harper's like a loose. Harper, like loose you lift strong. her up, and she's just like, <laughs> not in still, a bad way, but just she's like. She's still strong. She's not as like, yeah, yeah like, Adeline is literally like a stick, mm -hmm. and Harper's just kind of like, okay, yeah, you're gonna hold me. I'm just gonna chill I'm just here, gonna relax. sort of thing. Yeah. And um, but she's, but she is really strong still. Yes. Like it's very, they're very, they're both really strong, but in different ways. Yeah, I and I think. She consistently has the loudest laugh. Yeah, she like true. That's like she has like a true baby belly laugh. Almost starts screaming, laughing, and so it's great. It's, <laughs> and it's so easy to get her to. Yeah, you like, just tickle her belly and get to her neck when you're changing her diaper, yes. and it's like the easiest. It's <laughs> it cool. It's pretty cute. So she's super cute and fun. Um, she still has the award for the biggest thighs and most rolls. She's got some chunky thighs. Yeah. She's our second heaviest baby, mm -hmm. next to biggest girl for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, she was the biggest one in the womb. Yeah, and yeah, when the whole time in the NICU, well, yeah, pretty much the whole time in the NICU, she was the biggest. Yeah, but all babies are doing super good, super great. I mean, they're they're all just really fun babies. They're all happy, um, silly. I think they like know that they're loved mm -hmm. and then we feel loved by them yeah. as much as we can be by a little baby. Let's talk about some hard things. Oh, I forgot to mention about Adeline. We got to rewind about Adeline first. <laughs> Before the hard things. Before the hard things. Adeline is the only one Adeline. that has had stranger danger. Adeline. Yes. She's um, the only one that if she 
like see something that she's like unsure about, she'll go, mm. yeah, she'll start and, crying. And pretty much, she did it for a while with my dad. <laughs> it took like four four solid days of seeing him that she was like, yeah, okay, I'm she had to get now. warmed up to him again. Yeah, that was pretty. Anyways, nobody, Ellen has kind of done that, but <clears throat> not not the same. Thing. Yeah. Okay, hard things. Mm -hmm. What comes to mind? They These still, eight months. They still spit up a lot. They still spit oh. up a ton. <laughs> That's really annoying. That's tough. And basically the general consensus is as long as they're growing, normal bodily functions, it's okay. Yeah. So, but we... And also, I guess, preemies just tend to spit up a little bit. Yeah. More. We got there lots of rags, lots of clothes every day. Yep. Clothes between the babies and us. Yeah. Yep. Um, that's been a little challenging. Um, we went through like a little stint where the girls started getting UTIs. That was pretty hard yeah, and challenging. I, I don't, I don't, know I don't if we, even remember the last time we did an update was, so. Yeah, yeah I don't know if we've really tough. shared that on here, but we, we had basically four confirmed cases. Linnea had oh, yeah. two and Adeline never had a confirmed case, but she had the same symptoms, but we came across people recommended D-Manos mm -hmm. and that we give that to them every day now and we haven't had a UTI since, which is super yeah. cool. And um, we did have our first round of just colds. Colds or, yeah, I don't know what they, I don't know what it was that they got. I think it was a cold, this is your basic. Yeah. But you kind of go into it with all these plans and how you're gonna handle it and then your child gets sick for the first time, but all yeah. five like, of your children like, get sick for the you, first time. What do you do? <laughs> And at one one night, they all had a fever, which is a little mm -hmm. scary. You don't yeah. really know what to do. Called the nurse on call, and um, she's like, "Let them rest." And the fevers went away the next day, really. Yeah, fevers were gone the next day. In two days, they were like new babies again. Yeah. So that was scary, but their immune systems did. What they're supposed to do. It's supposed to do. Pretty cool. So it was really cool. Um, survived the first round of sickness. Yeah, it didn't last very long, which I'm thankful for. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, yeah, and other than that, still, and I don't think we'll ever have this figured out, just mm -hmm. learning how to live life with five babies is challenging. Yeah, because um, they're always changing. It's challenging yet rewarding. Yeah. So it's not like we're not enjoying it, but to do anything else, it takes a lot of planning. Yes. And a lot of other things just fall by the wayside. You just don't have time to do it. Yeah. So we're still learning that, um, but we're loving it, I would mm -hmm. say. And... Yeah, kind of what are we excited about over these next couple months? The weather warming up weather. and being able to actually take them out. Um, you want to tell them about what we got over there? Over the strawberry. Oh, yes. We had a gift given to us from another quintuple dad, Chad Kimball. If you're watching this, thank you, good sir. But we have a stroller now that we can put all five babies all five. in. And uh, we're getting really excited for that. They're not quite ready. Not quite ready, and it's still a little cold. A little cold for it, but getting super excited. Mm -hmm. And um, that'll be a lot of fun to go on family walks. In case that. you're wondering how it looks, it's literally five seats yeah. lined up. I'll show a little, I'll show a couple yeah, clips yeah, of yeah. it. But Chad broke the world record for fastest marathon, marathon. with quintuplets in it. So we now have a stroller that was used in a Guinness Pretty book cool. world record pretty so cool. pretty awesome yeah um so we're excited about that yeah weather's warming up a little bit and then i know i keep saying this but making more videos mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna get around to it mm -hmm. um still just <laughs> trying to handle Remember the that thing that you mentioned a little bit ago yes about we all, yeah. it's always challenging yes <laughs> but yeah i think and then let's we'll wrap up the video how are we doing as a couple okay are we doing okay yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm I joking. Like, <laughs> yes, we're doing good. That was crazy because your face legit looks serious, and usually when you make those kinds of jokes, I can like really see you <laughs> joking. And that caught me off, yes. off guard for a second. <laughs> we still love each other, and it's been really fun being parents to each other. And <laughs> we're parents to each other. <laughs> we actually are getting plenty of sleep, despite what this video makes it seem like, and. Um, Yes, yeah, Stephanie. Yeah, turns. babies are are sleeping so good, still yeah. amazing. But how are we doing? I'm sorry, we're good. We're good. You mentioned sleep, so I yeah. mentioned that they they sleep so good. Stephanie turns 28 in a couple days, mm -hmm. which is super cool. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think we're 
we are really loving being parents. Um, I think we miss a little bit of what social life was like before babies. Just being able to like casually be like, hang out. But the thing is, we also, the majority of people that we would hang out with also have kids. So like they understand. Yeah, our friends too. have been great about coming to see us. Mm -hmm. I think that is what's hard is the um, ability just to be like last minute. Do you guys want to go do this? And we can just put our shoes X, on. X, Y, Z. Put our shoes on and go. And, and get out the door and go to it. We literally can't right now. And yeah. I think that aspect is kind of hard. Yeah. I miss and, that. And I know that like that's pretty common even just with one baby, but it's just because of what goes into, like you really do have to plan mm -hmm. so much in advance with having the five. Um, yeah, that makes it. But now we did take them to their first party. We Technically, did. Technically. We did get out. We went to a party. A friend of ours had their 30th birthday party. And so we're like, we're going to try and make it. Mm -hmm. And um, and we did have to change our schedule for it. Yeah. We, to make sure that we like. These babies are super adaptable. We love them for that. They are so amazing. They're amazing. But it was great. Learning how to go to a party was interesting. It was very weird to like walk around a party. When we say party, like I, I will crazy. preface it with like, it's not like. Hey, wait, craziness wait, 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 like okay. it's a LaCroix thing. I was, party. I was to say, here's a good example. It literally the drinks they had were LaCroix. It's yeah. a LaCroix themed party. So there's no alcohol. Not that we're against alcohol, but it's not like it Ooh, wasn't it wasn't yeah. a rager. But I will say it was interesting to like walk around in the house and there'd be a person that I didn't know was holding my child was holding my child. And we knew that person. Yes. That's the thing. We knew that person but we didn't know they had switched people. Yeah, we didn't know there was a pivot. Was, a that handoff is, that had yes. happened. And that was like, oh, I didn't, okay. Getting used to that mm -hmm. was challenging, but. But you know, it doesn't happen often, so. There's a little bit of trust there. That's the things you gotta just. Yep. Gotta let go. All right. I think we'll wrap up this video. Thank okay. you for watching. Yeah, you made it all the way. Also, here. yeah, just a big thank you to people who watch these videos. Again, yeah. like so many, it, it has helped financially through the YouTube revenue, but also just opened up doors for us too. Mm -hmm. Like specifically, it's helped us get formula, helped us get diapers, so many things. Mm -hmm. And um, I just always want to have a, a message of thanks for that. So yeah. thanks for continuing to watch these videos, yeah. even though they're a little inconsistent. We're going to get better. And um, most importantly, babies are eight months. They're great. We're great. We're thankful. And we're thankful for you. So have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>